got too many of these up now. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Sorry, just discussing. I've got too many scenes set up. I was making sure I switched to the right one. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Realverse episode 22. Here with myself and Dr. Oculus. Ready, hey, folks. ready to talk another crazy month. Releases. An audible medium, I should talk. <laughs> yep, can't do the only fan scenes. That'd be a bad idea. <laughs> can't be putting those cam girls on. <laughs> anyway, <What? laughs> <laughs> um, I um, feet what? Uh, yeah, hi folks. Uh, the VR verse episode apparently twenty two. I lost count at this point. I honestly don't know what number. Um, I always have to check every we're on. time. What? <laughs> But we have, um, it's it's October, which is quite frankly the month that VR should stand still. Yeah. Because, oh my god. And it's not even over yet. There's still way more to do. Still a lot on a lot, a lot on a lot coming. Um, I suppose, I, do we do we just start with the, the three-eyed elephant in the room? Uh, yeah, well, we'll start with the... It's a rather slim elephant, but it's got three eyes. Yeah, definitely. So there's well, there's sort of a couple of things that we were going to talk about today. Um, obviously, the quest. It's here. It's out. We have it in our hands. Mixed reality is becoming our reality, and um, we both have one now. So we we can sort of discuss that at, at some sort of length. Other things yeah. that have happened this month. I have a very short memory, and I spent a portion of it not even in the country and connected to the VR space. <laughs> um, what happened at the start of October? A bunch of stuff happened. Loads of games came out. Um, Hellsweeper had a very rocky introduction to the world, and it's currently not really changed from what I gather. Yeah. Um. I it, it I thought it was not that bad, but also it could have been a lot better. Yeah, so I can understand people's disappointment. I sort of think with with Hell Sweeper, the the demo sold it so well, and I feel like when you're on the full game, it doesn't feel as polished as the demo. And you're like, well, that should mm -hmm. be opposite way around. You meant to <laughs> get a well, feel. Well, I mean, that said, the the demo is there to draw people in. It's like you play uh, Call of the Mountain on the PSVR 2, and you, the first thing you do is you're treated to this glorious boat ride through a river of places, and you're just like, ooh, look at the shiny, shiny, and all these robots are crawling all over you and stuff, and it's glorious. And you can tell that's the kind of thing that people would be at a, a Gamescom and a, an E3 and things like that. And they would chuck them in that, and they would sit on the boat and go, ooh, look at this shiny, shiny. And they would be impressed. Yeah. And then, like, your Uncharted games, you can tell, like, the first section of an Uncharted game is so super finely polished. And then the rest of the game, not quite as much, because that's the bit they polish and polish and polish and polish. Yeah. Right up until, you know, they show it to people. So it makes sense that the demo would be finely polished, especially if they were using that in a next fest and a yeah. game show and things like that. But the game should realistically reflect it a little bit more. Definitely, definitely. So I, and I do understand people's disappointment. They they got a strong background. And then for them to come to this, it's like, eh, it's your old game in a bit of a new frock. And um, it's not the frock we were expecting it to be. You you came up in, in a an a M S dress and we were expecting Vera Wang. Yeah. I don't know fashion if that works or not. Uh, I agree. <laughs> we're both for the same thing. We, yeah. <laughs> so yeah that was good seventh guest came out seventh guest outstanding outstanding i've i've heard game of the year mentioned a few times floating around that game i'm reserving judgment because i've only played about an hour or so of it but boy howdy is that fun yeah that i think what the they've done with vertigo games is i mean you just expect this like end dreams you just expect things to come from them to be nice and it seems like yeah 
they've took obviously they've taken an old game and just made it for the current times. Um, re- but it's re- not re- so much like, like the they've puzzles. just like reskinned and rehashed it. They've completely remade it. Yeah, and yeah, they've um, they've done such amazing work with the seventh guest. Uh, I was just looking at some of the behind the scenes, like the green screen and and them filming and that, and I was just like. Yeah, this is they've done everything right by this. Yeah, the first um, first time you see the apparitions, mm. um, the, the first time you see those apparitions, they just look like they've they've kept the FMV feeling because obviously the first one was like a FMV game, wasn't it? Like the original, one of the first yeah. ever ones, and it's just like they've just kept it that feeling of it as well. Yeah. I love the like the 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 filter that they've put on people. It's not a you don't look at them and say, oh yeah, that's a video recording of somebody. They've put almost like a, a cartoon, not so much even cartoony. Cartoony seems to be more insulting than anything else. They, they've put like a filter on it that kind of mutes them and makes them seem a bit more alive. It's, it's so good as well. Um, I, I I love the the the, the textures they've put over the people. It's, it's so good the thing that bugs me about it and this is a stupid thing um i want to get close to the people and poke around them and have a look but when you get close enough they just leave disappear yeah. um <laughs> so you yeah you get too close and they disappear which is annoying but that's that is an absolutely like that's a, a me wanting to just photograph everything from a millimeter away um yeah. and yeah no it's it's not a bad thing at all it's it's perfectly fine it's just me being me so yeah i dig that game in a big bad way um i don't know i'm it's gonna be too, it's gonna be difficult come december's podcast when we start throwing out like okay this is the last year what did you like the best yeah it's good this so, year's been like even the last few months have made it extremely difficult mm, and that's just and like as i said there's more coming although <laughs> I hear interesting things. So there's um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, as if there's not enough new games coming out. Uh, the the team that have sold the souls to some sort of VR devil, um, built a robot, we uh, upgraded Red Matter. <laughs> One. Oh, for the quest. F a PlayStation. They give it like 4K textures and all new lighting and. But oh wow! At what Red cost? Matter. I believe it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, my head's free, gone yeah. to Red Matter too. Of course, yeah, Red Matter one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I loved that game. I'm I'm so glad that it came to the PSVR. Uh, I've yet to touch it. Um, should, but there's just so much going on at the minute to retread yeah. old ground. Yeah, I put it on on the stream just to, to see, obviously to show what the updates have done, and then just played through it in one stream because <laughs> obviously I knew what I was doing, so. Yes, yeah. I could, like, get through it quick. Um, There's one I really want to talk Paper about Beasts. that came out. Paper Beast, oh, yeah, it came out after, since the last yeah. podcast. Yeah. That got its remaster. And looks... Ooh. <laughs> and they've actually... <laughs> they've, actually, with smooth yeah, locomotion, not... so... Oh, that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah that's a good... Oof, I... So much, so much. We just need to pause October so I can do stuff. Yep. Um that's one I want to talk about which I was really looking forward to and it came out on the nineteenth of this month. Sushi Ben. Sushi Ben. It's absolutely mm. fantastic. Like I'm in oh, I'm into the visual that, novel. Like I'm into visual novels anyway in VR and it it is very visual novel but manga style, like the it's a crazy story, crazy characters. You've got like comic strip panels popping into the world to show you more of the story and stuff and it's just it's just about saving a sushi shop and helping the local save a sushi shop which have you doing stuff like walking dogs for them and things like that it's a very so you can convince them to go to the sushi shop because you've helped them it's just a crazy crazy game and i saw all of the yeah the bits and bobs about it and i was just like oh wow i totally want to yeah I, I can't wait to play that but it's not out on pc though right no, it's only out on Quest yeah. at the moment, yeah. So it's coming sometime next year for PC. Yeah, PC and PlayStation, I think, next year. So, I yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if I just jump on the Quest version now, because you've played... Um, 
a game you told me recently you you'd played something and it was basically just on par with the the pc version now and i'm struggling to remember what that was i played bam i'll, I'll figure it out yeah but yeah it was sushi ben it's um i summed up my review as it's one of these games when you see it you probably think does it really need vr and then once you've actually mm-hmm. played it, you're like, this is something that VR needed once you just once you're playing it. It's like it's it's outstanding. That's why I summed up my review. That that needs to go on a poster or something somewhere where yeah, that that needs to be written down in writing. VR realm. Mm. You think <laughs> does this need to be in VR? And then you turn out it's something VR needed. That's just the perfect tagline. Get on that big brain. Hmm. With a genotype? Um, you sold me. I played the beta for that. I was all the alpha test. I was in the test for that game. Yeah. And I totally dug what I played. Um, I recorded it, and I had no issues back then, and it seemed pretty great. Not tried it in a Quest 3. I don't know whether it had any visual upgrades, because... Dear God, the glow-up list of games that have been upgraded on <laughs> yeah. the Quest 3. I, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, I've tried a couple. Um, um, I, yeah, the, a lot of people have been showing off like your Saints and Sinners and things. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll check that out. Genotype. I got bored of it. Like, I played through it. I got through it, but I just... It was one way I had to push myself because by it got so far in, I was just like... Oh, it's getting a bit boring now. <laughs> I kind of get that. It's it's about five hours, right? Um, I think it took me. Let me just look. It's about a four or five hour game, I think. And it um, took me just short of eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, that's not too bad. Then. But I did walk around in circles a lot of time trying to just figure yes. stupid stuff out, and it just got a bit tedious. The early version that I played, it did seem to be mildly repetitive. Yeah. But all in all, I I did somewhat enjoy it. But then again, I didn't go all the way through. I only played maybe two hours in the playtest that I did. Mm. Uh, and I was definitely ready to get out of the headset after that two hours. It was I was going to shut it down and it, it crashed as I was closing it. And I was like, okay, that's as good a time as any. So... I guess after eight hours, it's a bit of a slog. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a shame. A game came out on the 5th, which I'd never played, and then I've been addicted to it. Ghost Signal came out on PlayStation VR and PC on the 5th I of love October. That game. <laughs> How did you not play it on Quest? Yeah, did I it just pass you by. I just, like, at the time, I just wasn't a, a roguelike player, and I was like, oh, God, it's just a roguelike. Right. And then okay. yeah, Light, yeah, yeah. the Light Brigade got me into roguelike, so I was like, I'm going to need to try this now. And then, yeah, just you just fell in love. played way too much of it. The Quest version to PSVR, the graphical jump on that is just phenomenal. I, it, it's, it's such a great... Yeah, I, I dig that game in a big bad way. I need to play more of it. It's one of those games that is on the I absolutely will play more of this one day list. Just one day might come in 2027 when I'm finally done with the games that are released in October this year. I had my chilled stream on Sunday and just played with the very last ship on Go Signal. And the whole two hours okay. t- took me the two hours basically to complete a run with a, with the final ship. <laughs> Well, if if weather permitting, and by weather permitting, I mean if the weather's really bad, I may finally do my community challenge this weekend. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting because Windlands has got a glow up on the quest. Mm. So I'm thinking, yeah, I might do Windlands on the quest. Mm. We'll have to to see how that pans out. But yeah, I can't wait to see that. It's it's gonna. It, from what I've seen, it is one of the better looking resolution bumps for the quest 3 mm. they've really done good things with it so I, i'm looking forward to trying that one out and if i get time i'll do some more some more of the glow up games but um it's it's a busy busy month and of course um there's yet more to come yeah last thing i've played that's been released in this month 
is the the new castle walkabout mini golf. <laughs> they write it again. Oh God. The, so this one, this one's a horror theme, right? It's like a haunted house Halloween thing, yeah. Yeah, really good. And so, is is there any spoopiness to it? Is it just um, more of the same? You go through the house, but like you might walk down some stairs and then turn around, and then there's suddenly a doll at the top of the stairs out looking at you and stuff. They put little stuff like that in. So like uh, okay. You, or you might turn and take a shot, and then when you turn back, there's a doll like at the end of the course looking at you, and there's like things pop up through that add, add some sort of like. Sp- yeah. Sounds like a typical play to. session with us, though. To be fair, yeah, you just be going to take your shot, and then all of a sudden, someone's head will poke out of the hole, and you're just aiming for their nose. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's um, it's good. Of course, there's another eighteen balls to find, another club to get. Of course, yes, you've got to get the balls. I really enjoyed the fox hunt as well. The fox hunt's got some really, really... They've used some stuff very well. It's like got puzzles okay. puzzles to it and stuff, which is... Yeah, good. it's that's one of the elements that walk about I really dig. I Don't get me wrong, I like, you know, the mini golf and stuff, but the the puzzles and, and learning the courses and stuff, it's so much fun. It's And they didn't, like, that's not something that needed to be put in there, but it turns out that's one of the more fun parts of it. Yeah. I think I've been on the hard version of many courses and yet i've never actually hit a ball <laughs> I, I just go on and do the 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 hunts for the clubs and then just yeah i've got that by <laughs> leave. Yeah. so maybe one day i'll do a marathon like i said there's still there's still stuff to come as well even in this next week there is that they don't need to do a sequel to that game they just keep knocking out new courses yeah and they're always reasonably priced as well yeah, yeah. You gotta give him that. Um, now I just need to figure out which platform. Oh no, I did. I got the hole in one on the 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 meta store. So yeah, guess I'll go that way. But have fun. Good good times by the but had by all. Yeah. Somebody has to lose, of course. But I was like um, on on the hard course because i always play it with a uh, midlife every time on the day of release me midlife and scottish gamer always go in and play it yes on, yeah uh, i got to meet midlife on midlife stream Strangely enough and i was like miles um, ahead i was miles ahead and i thought got a hole in one and i was like yes that's gonna knock my score down and it was a bloody par two course anyway so i only got minus one i was <laughs> like no not, i was like no not really a great deal <laughs> yeah yeah you got to meet midlife didn't you yeah I did, yeah. I was. I had the pleasure. Um, we'll, um, yeah. Maybe we'll sideways into that. So, did anybody um, listening? Did you actually manage to catch the VR uh, spotlight at EGX? Hopefully, somebody did, because I, um, among others, so it was obviously Callum. Um, GT, Mac in VR, myself and Book Thirty One Thirty One, um, were were fortunate enough to be able to go on stage and actually do some of the hosting. It was a very surreal experience, to mm. say the least, and one that I've yet to see. So, if anybody has a link to the VOD, please let me know because I've not seen it yet. I know Callum was trying to get a copy of it to upload on on it was YouTube because the EGX channel was just replaying like each day. Like you have to like get it at the right time to be able to try and So I know he was like asking gonna ask him can you get a a part of copy of it so you can put it on his YouTube, I think. Yeah. Oh so hopefully they do manage to, to sort that out. Apparently he's on a hard drive somewhere, mm. so I really want to see it. I was hoping that somebody like live streamed it or something, anything, but I can't find any record of it and it's killing me because I've not seen it. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I um I would love to to see how that went. But I I hear things and so that that's good. And I'm just happy to do my part for the VR world to try and, you know, show folks 
the joys of virtual reality. Yeah. But it was very, very strange, very, very surreal, and um, it's just such a crazy weekend. I um, so got down to EGX at about midday, had a quick walk around, met up with folks. Uh, we did that at 6 o'clock, 6.30, I think it was. Um, left there, went out for a meal with all the folks uh, of the VR community. That's where I was hanging out with your midlife. I got to see Indy. I got to meet um, Scorpio. The Welsh gamer still there. Chat with, yeah, got to chat with Welsh and Scottish. Um, got to chat with them. I had a chat with Daysnetic over a video call from the TikTok booth. Um, it was just absolutely insane. There was other people there, but, you know, they're, they're not worth mentioning cold vengeance so yeah it was just a weird and wonderful weekend and i then got to go onto a um a bus um i i we were invited to a moving cinema by the good folks over at xreal uh those of you who don't know xreal formerly nreal um they basically do glasses with tv screens in to put it simply for the muggles of the world and you can view you know phones game consoles i've done nothing but play steam deck on it ever since and i used to be laid in bed with my elbows with the steam deck in front of my face and eventually with the your arms being essentially above your heart and then bent in the middle you start like losing feeling in your arms or maybe that's just fat man problems i don't know um and now i don't have to deal with that i can just lay on my back i've got the the x-rails on my face and i'm playing steam deck on a huge screen that's basically just on my ceiling and it is awesome i absolutely love those things i wanted a pair and i very very nearly bought a pair like two weeks prior and then um yeah i i am glad i didn't because uh they they were kind enough to give us a pair of x-real air 2s which are coming to the uk i believe pre-orders are available now on their website not an ad mm -hmm. but i just want to give them a shout out because it was a really really fun time driving well i say driving around london they could have literally just been parked up and shaking it yeah um we were on a bus with glasses on our heads and and a moving bus i'm pretty either that or they were beating it with trees because i'm sure they drove into trees at one point um it was just a, a whirlwind of a weekend coupled with so much stuff going off i just yeah <laughs> I, i've still not managed to process it still to this day not managed So that there wasn't like two. I mean, Pico were down there, weren't there? At EGX, mm -hmm. Pico and Wired Productions are taking a few things down, and like Tin Hearts. Yes, there and... was Tin Hearts. There was. Um, I'm talking about that this game this was game called here? like that horror game, like horror story thingy. Tifa horror story thing. Yeah, this is what I'm going for. So it's like Tifa Dracula or something. Yeah. Um. I have a, a flyer. I've uh, I've I've misplaced the flyer. The flyer is dead to me. It's nearly here. Yes, here we go. Right, so it's called Tea is Served. Tea is served, that's someone. Um yeah. So you are essentially a a, a servant, a, a familiar of Dracula, and he's got his friends around, and you have to appropriately serve his guests with whatever they desire maybe you know blood or i don't know virgins whatever i didn't actually get to play it because it was actually quite a cue to play it which was really great to see and i had other things to attend to but yeah it looked really really good i got a fly from them and i'm going to you know keep in touch but tea is served it's um coming on quest next year i think at this point mm. this well it's october so things coming out in 2024 is not as far away as you think no. Uh, other than that, it was other than that and Sea Smash as well, which I had a fantastic yeah, time playing at uh, the again, beginning yeah. of the month. Uh, I dig Sea Smash so much, and uh, it's got a multiplayer. So if anybody's got it and wants to jump in, let me know. One thing I think um, is interesting is, um, like I said, Pico were down there, 
And then we had the news, the news recently that it was shutting yeah. down. <laughs> I woke up the other morning and I saw the tweet of like Pico are leaving VR, and I'm like, I, I don't think so. Yeah. It doesn't seem right. That is not the Pico that I was talking with the EGX. They were quite prominent and and not backing out of virtual reality at all. Yeah. So I was shocked when I saw that. Yeah, and then obviously we got the official statement from them going, it's lies. Yeah, it's it's we're, we're actually quite heavily investing in the future of VR, yeah. and it's completely wrong, which is good to hear because I I do really like my Pico, I really do. Mm-hmm. Um, although, um, yeah, it was the best VR mobile VR headset I could I could I got my hands on up until like two or three weeks ago. Yeah. And even then the jury's out. Yeah, um I think it's got some some good benefits, some um like I said, I've not had a headset with pancake lenses, so I mean I've tried obviously the peak your Pico. And mm. I sort of see the the like why people like the form factor <laughs> like for the pancake lenses because they just it's, it's a lot thinner. <laughs> it is a lot thinner. Yes. The so I've now got three pancake lens headsets. Mm. I think I may have more. I just don't know about it. But no, I'm confident it's three. And um, I I don't think there's any. Wait, is the PlayStation? No, that's that's no, that's still. Please say the word because every time I try, I end up trying to say Frenenzel and it doesn't work. Fresnel. Yeah, I, I just, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're things, I don't overly hate them. People go on about God rays and things, and admittedly, jumping from the Pico to the Index, I saw them, and I was like, ah, dang it. I think I normally notice them I... more when it's, like, white on black. Like, when I'm in a game, I never really notice them. Yes. Yeah, especially like intro logos and stuff because yeah. they're frequently black backgrounds, white logo, or you know some sort of very bright writing, and then you see them come off of it. Um, I'd never really noticed it on the index, and then I sat talking to Fluke on one of my recent jaunts out the the to to see folks, and yeah, sure enough, sat talking to Fluke. He's like, I instantly sent my index back. I hated it, and then started telling me all the problems with it. And then for the first time after going from Pico to Index, I was like. Oh yeah, there they are. Huh, never seen them before. Doesn't overly bother me. I've seen them from, you know, I've seen that many of them that I think I've learned to ignore them. Yeah. I've I've become accustomed to it, which is why a lot of things that bug people in VR, like reprojection, I'm used to running things with good-looking graphics but reprojection because yeah. my PC's not a 4090. It's just a 3080 limping at best. Um so yeah, I I I don't care about things as much as other people do i think i'm easily pleased maybe yeah i think i'm in a very similar situation like i think going from the vive to the index because I've, obviously i use the vive pro for so long <laughs> when i went back yeah. to the index after i got the vive pro i went back to index i noticed there's a lot of glow around the edges of an index screen mm-hmm. like again no i only normally notice it when it's dark on light colors if it's like, if I, I've never noticed it, like even if I'm playing Half Life Alex and in the dark section, I don't notice it. It's more like when, again, when it's mainly white and black, I'm like, you can just see the glow right around the edge of your, your sight. Mm. But other than that, I don't really notice much. Yeah, it's I, I, it's not it's not something that bothers me. It's the same with the um, the people talk about the reprojection on the PSVR. I I have since looked for it and seen it in games, but before then I didn't really care. Yeah. And I still mostly don't care now. It's one of those things that um I it's just not a hill I want to die on. I want to enjoy what I get and, and take out of it what I can get. Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna play it and, and enjoy it. So yeah, I'll I'll have my fun. You have yours, and if you enjoy saying oh, this is so... <laughs> then that's fine. Go nuts, but I'm I, I'm gonna live with my my yeah. POV of things. 
Yeah, that's fine. Um, as long as people enjoy, yeah. as long as people are enjoying what they're playing on, what's the, what's the issue? Yeah, just all get along. Exactly. Just all get I along. Completely agree. As long as someone, some might enjoy it on the Quest, some might want to enjoy it on the Index, some might enjoy it on PlayStation, but they're enjoying it, and that's what that's what matters. <laughs> you are not wrong for liking a thing. I mean, <laughs> unless that thing is like you know snuff porn or something, then you, yeah, you, yeah. If you have joy and it hurts nobody else, just forget everybody else. Yeah. Um. That's that's my thing. Definitely. But yeah, the Pico thing it shocked me, but I'm 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 happy to see that they are very much still very much a a, a big thing, yeah. and I I cannot wait to see what else they they do next. The EGX they had uh, body trackers with them. Yeah. So there was a dancing game which I took one look and went nope. Um, so that but it did, it did look fun it did look fun i got to um watch people dance badly so that was good i saw most of the time the people in the booth spent most of the time just grabbing people and pulling them backwards because they kept creeping forwards um the boundaries were set up so you'd think that they would um figure that out but no people were just got that immersed that they kept creeping to the edge of the boundaries it was awesome so, i always remember i'm, I'm never get. i'm not gonna play that game <laughs> I always remember my thing at EGX was like, when I'm outside, I can be outgoing, I can keep myself to myself. And first ever, my first ever EGX I went to, got there, I had arranged interview someone at the beginning. So I thought, I'll go to their booth. And they're like, oh, do you want to try our game? It was VR. Um, and I went, all right, okay, yeah. Because I would set up an interview with them, said, oh, you can get on and try it now. I was like, yeah, that's fine. And it was like a, 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 a theatre game where you actually acted out scenes. So you put it on like medium. Okay. You put it on like medium for me. He said hard's like quite difficult if you're like it's more aimed at people who already like do acting and stuff. So you put like yeah. medium involvement and put me in a scene of Macbeth. So it's like a stage and you're playing that scene of Macbeth and then so you're doing all the stuff and then I'm laid on the floor because I've been stabbed and I'm laid on the floor and you have to actually lay down in the game. So I'm just laid on the floor in this booth that like ejects and then. You walk forward and bow after the scene's finished, and then you lift the headset off, and there's just this massive crowded form around the room. <laughs> it sounds dope. Yeah. Wait, what happened to this? I uh, just don't think he ever pushed forward with it. It was like a early demo there. Oh man, I wish that went like I would totally do that. I'm a, a massive ham. Yeah, when I was talking, would... when I was talking to him, he said like he's working on it, so the lines come up and doing voice detection so you can actually say the lines and it'll like you read the script as it comes up on the screen as well i was like what i think that's got and, a uh... huge so i i've been recently um I, I say reading i've been listening to ready player two and it sort of took me back about how he used to have to you know in that part of the whole vr thing was that you could go and reenact a movie sort of word for word and you could yeah live that in the oasis and then that sort of brought that back to me it's just like yeah why doesn't why isn't that a thing in vr right now mm. i would love to do that i mean naturally yeah okay for what they describe in ready player one and ready player two um that we're, we're not there yet of making an entire 3d version of a movie and you being ai hey, will get us there though i'm telling oh, yeah. you that that stuff's crazy Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Ready Player Two is. It, we didn't need a sequel, but we got one anyway. Um, yeah, that that was. Um, I, that sounds so cool. I, I I wish. Did you get any like footage or anything, or did you have any? Is there any historical documentation that I can sort them? You know, hunt them down and be like, you finish your thing. I wonder if I've um got the article because I wrote a bit about it for my website. I wonder if I've got it archived because I didn't. I like I archived loads of old articles I had in there, so I'll have to see if it's on there. Mm. I didn't ever delete any of them. I archived them, so it must be in my archives. I think I've had a cool. link, link I, to websites and I stuff will, in it, so I'll have a I look. Will badger you to hunt that down. Mm -hmm. Speaking of going outside, then. So, the Meta Quest 3. One of the big things, one of the things that people are going doolally about, they're going hoo-ha, they're going hey-hey-hey, is the whole mixed reality of it. Yeah. So, I gave it a quick playthrough, gave it a quick look. 
and it's I it's the best mixed reality headset I've tried thus far in the sense of the pass through of it surpasses every other pass through I've seen. I thought the Pico was better, but I did a quick one to one like a side by side and whilst the Pico was very good I was looking at like a web page on a TV and I couldn't read the text of the web page. I put the quest on and I could. So as a uh, a benchmark, the quest kind of won on that one. The other problem is that the pass through stuff for the quest doesn't seem to translate to Pico, mm. which it comes down to money, I think, basically. I think Meta knew the Quest 3 was coming and started throwing money at people or games that... So one of the things you'll see Meta, they frequently push a tiny little game called Cubism. Mm -hmm. It's a puzzle game, which I clearly adore, but many people don't care about. And I think one of the reasons that that happens is Thomas was very, very smart. And so Meta were like, we're doing hand tracking while everybody else was just like, we're doing zombies, go away. Yeah. Thomas was like, I'm going to work hand tracking into my little demo. And then it came on. And then Meta were like, I'm going to do pass through. And Thomas was like, I will make cubism work very well with pass through. Yeah. You just watch. And so every step of the way, Meta have introduced a new feature, and Thomas has jumped on it, perfected it. They're all great. Mm -hmm. And so Meta keep pushing that. And I think Meta are the ones that have gone to resolution and said, here's a bunch of money, make Demio work in a mixed reality situation, mm -hmm. knowing the quest was coming. Yeah. Because I wanted that, I would have bought it on Pico in a heartbeat. But it's not coming to Pico. There is not going to come to Pico. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody's ever given me a straight answer on that, but that's got to come down to financial exclusivity. There's no other... The only other thing I can think of is that the Pico's mixed... Like, the pass-through on the Pico is either just locked down and impossible or just a nightmare to use. Mm. And so I think Meta are very much pushing the the mixed reality thing another one is um Arvor, the the pixel rip people yeah they always seem to be pretty good relationship with them as well so one of the first things i tried was yuki yeah and it works quite well it's quite nice the monsters coming out of portals in in your room and stuff it's it's fine but i noticed that there's no games in mixed reality yet demio is probably the biggest one yeah. Everything else just seems like a we have mixed reality now. Look, stand there, things are gonna come into your room, and then that's it. Like it it's not a game that I, I, I've seen. There are games. There's uh laser dance. Yeah. But once again it's made by Thomas, who made Cubism. Yes, it is. Um <laughs> it's all a bit I don't know if it overly adds value to the game. I think in a way, um, the way I look at it, it's just my view on it is, like, it's where VR was when VR started. Okay. Like, it's it's in a place where people get people are going to start getting used to it. They're going to find magic ways to make it. Like, you think of the very early VR, it's, like, super hot. You stand there. It's a wave shooter. It's a rhythm game. It's a... And I think... Mm -hmm. people will find start to find ways to make it work for example like i know that there's one of very very few um do it there's t of god and or t for god sorry and is the what's your one the eye of the temple, eye of the temple yeah which use your play space cleverly to make you walk around mm -hmm. stuff I would love an MRI of the temple, actually. Now we've said this, I would love an, a mixed reality eye of the temple, so basically all of the surroundings, like the, the temple and the pillars and stuff, keep that. But then the skybox, get rid of it, put my world on it. Yeah. So if I look down, temple floor, I look up, my house. Like, yeah, I'm totally down for that. 
<laughs> I am. I am absolutely down for that. Dang it. That's no, oh, that would be great. I was also thinking about it's I mean it's a PlayStation 2 game, so this is insane wish list type stuff. But I was thinking that C Smash on the Quest with mixed reality would actually quite work as well. Yeah. So as you're doing the C smashing, you look to the side out of the spaceship window and there's just like your mum waving at you or something <laughs> because you know you're in the back garden at a family barbecue and you you're showing it off or something daft like that that would yeah. be so cool um but i everything at this point in time just seems very much a gimmick um which a lot of people said about the the the, the nintendo wii mm-hmm. as well about VR Everyone's as well. Like, it's, a, it's a gimmick. It's going to go away. Yeah. Why Why do I care about controlling a game with my TV remote? It's stupid. Go away. Yeah. And look what happened with the Wii. But one of the things with the Wii was Nintendo basically said, right, we're making this console. You go find out what you can do with what we're doing and do it well mm-hmm. to their own in-house people. Yeah. Meta have in-house people. This is what's confused me because obviously the, the the pushing the mixed reality side of it. It's I would say like you know for me on on Twitter I only got mine yesterday, and I would say ninety five percent of probably about the seven or eight hours I've spent in it has been in the mixed reality stuff. Just yeah, that trying about, trying about, stuff about out right. Like... The best use case I've found for mixed reality is pinning the browser to a wall <laughs> and sticking a movie on it. Hmm. At EGX in the evening, we connected to the to the hotel's Wi-Fi and I was just sat there watching TV on the hotel ceiling in my Quest 3. And that was... I literally, like you guys saw, I came back from my holiday, I unboxed the Quest, then put it in a bag and left for London. Mm-hmm. So... I, that was one of my sort of first experiences with it, aside from a few other experiences, which still aren't public yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if this conversation was happening tomorrow, it might be a slightly different conversation. But uh, yeah, that that's that's a thing that it was a great use case. But I'm still I'm the, the jury. I'm making no judgment on the Quest Three at this point in time. I'm not saying it's the best thing to happen to VR no. or if it is just trash and a waste of money i have so far what i've used all of the three or four hours of it that i've used it i can't figure out where my money's gone yeah apart from on a couple of web cameras that's not amazing yeah, but, to be honest yeah what, what i was confused like you said the is, is they're pushing it but we've got to a point where you look at the like synth riders got a mixed reality mode Smash drums, got a mixed reality mode. Never tried that. I meant to. Um, My battery died. But why aren't like Quest are pushing it? Why did Beat Saber not launch it? Why did it not launch with a Beat Saber mixed reality mode? Right. That's one of the first things I said. I was just like, why is Beat Games not the first music game with MR? Like what? I, that said, I do quite like the Beat Saber environments. I do think it does add a fair amount of value to it. But why is there not a mixed reality Beat Saber? Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't make sense. Why are Meta not throwing money at Beat Games to bring that to a to a halt? They've got they've got Beat Games. They've got Ready at Dawn. Like, mm-hmm. why are these people not? Like, if they put mixed reality into Asgard's Wrath. I would be annoyed and shocked. Yeah. I was like, like the thing about that game is all about the, ooh, look at that, it's very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. And we've already said that they've kind of potatoed it, although recent footage did look good. I've got to say, the recent footage did look pretty good. Um, uh, I was going to say as well, the, yeah, why are they not all over it? Assassin's Creed one looks really good as well, the recent footage I came out of that. I, I'm still worried about Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Because on one hand, it's it's Assassin's Creed. It's what we've been wanting from VR for quite some time. Yeah. But I'm a little bit worried that it's going to be a little bit like... Almost like Mario. Do you know in Super Mario World where you start and then you go to the world and you go down the pipe and then it comes up and you're in this particular world? 
then you go out to the level select and then you go to the next one and then you're in the underground world yeah. and then water and this that, and the other i'm afraid it's going to just be a series of vr type actions merged together with the world of assassin's creed yeah. oh this is the sword fighty bit this is the climby bit this is the parkour bit and it's not going to be a seamless assassin's creed event which is what people want yeah and so i i'm putting this out here now i think is it november that it's scheduled for release it's not far away november yeah but i say it's going to be mostly hated mm -hmm. I do. I think it's going to be mostly hated because I'm confident that that's what it's going to end up being. Okay, it's it's going, going to be a series of set pieces that you just... It's not Assassin's Creed. It's just a, a, a... Right, go do this part. Right, now this is the climbing part. Yeah. That kind of thing. It'll take a lot for them to get such a smooth flow as what you get in Assassin in, in the flat screen exactly. one. Exactly. Now, that said, I am notorious for ignoring people's content. Because I don't want their content to influence my own content. Mm -hmm. So other people may have played it, and they may well say that, no, this is absolutely brilliant. And I hope, touching things that used to be trees, I am wrong. I truly, truly do. Ubisoft have taken a crack at, um, uh, at VR a few times. And it's been um, <laughs> enjoyable. I've loved it. Yeah. Ultimately, for them, I imagine it's been classed as not successful. Yeah, because I think the the issue they've got is their pushes out have all been multiplayer, and so well, I there was um, what they published. I don't, I don't know whether they developed, but they so Star Trek was Ubisoft. Yeah, that was great. The game was more, more. Uh, and I had transference. Oh yeah, transference. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, transference. Yeah, but I don't know whether they developed or if they just published that. But either way. No, it, it's it, hopefully they had a good time with that. Uh -huh. They keep making it, um, so yeah, we'll we'll have to see. But I, I just feel like people are going to be disappointed. So lower your expectations, and you will have a better time. It's just like the Medal of Honor. Yeah, if you lower your expectations, that game is dope. But people had really high expectations, and for some strange reason, wasn't a fan. So mm. yeah, so. With the, like I said, most of my time in the quest has been MR for me. Because I tried the, well, I actually owned an original HoloLens and then got rid of it because it was terrible. Um, mm -hmm. And even like the first encounter thing where you're shooting the little furry things out of. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three or one stuff. Like, that is like what I got to have on HoloLens with low graphics and like a. 50 degree field of view or something and you just looked at it if it was square i remember yeah the tiny little robot thing that just kind of dangled down and every now and then a, I, I think i tried that an arm would smash through the wall and fire some fire some more things out for you to shoot yeah it was it was it was you had to catch it at just the right angle to see all of it it was yeah. not great yeah but it was early i mean that was yeah, that oh god, that was uh, seven or eight years ago. Yeah, and it's well. Let's put it this way: I had a Hololens at my wedding, and that was fairly new tech. That was in twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're probably looking at a good sort of six, six or seven years ago when that, that yeah. was made. So okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, but this is definitely like a massive step into that world. Yeah, and I saw Paradise Decay did a video with that game. And did you see what he did with it? No. So he went into his back garden at night, set up a boundary, and then played that game. And then all of a sudden, that when you're playing that, the monsters like break through the wall, or you shoot through the wall. Yeah. And of course, you're basically then shooting daylight into the world around you and it looks so fun like just it, literally you could turn night into daytime just by breaking the walls down and yeah. it, that was a nice touch by him i i don't know whether i imagine he he did come up with that because he does some kooky stuff in vr yeah but that was yeah i that was a really great i like it's dark out i'm so tempted to go do it now um but then again my back garden is full of um 
things that may or may not be leaves. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, oh, yeah. yeah, like so that's the reason that like that's what tempted me the most of the quest was seeing people's mixed, mm-hmm. re- mixed reality stuff because I was just like, I remember having an art experience with Hollands. There just wasn't much to it because obviously it was more aimed um, that enterprise and anything, so there wasn't very many games popped up on there. And then yeah. I was just like, I want to play. I just seen people having fun of it, and I just thought, oh, I'm gonna have to have a go. So I've just been mainly playing through those. So somebody amigos got mixed reality mode. I was gonna say, yeah, you. So what's would you would you be able to say a standout MR game for you? Um, Aspire. Like, if you've got the space. <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I kind of don't overly have the space. So I, I set mine up earlier because I tried it in my room and it said you've only got four walls. That's not enough. And I thought, oh, surely four walls what? is plenty. Like I don't know if it just it's not worded very well. It just means the space was too small. So I Unless... thought less. Did you map windows and things into that space? It doesn't ask you to. If it just get you to no it may not ask you to but it doesn't mean like maybe it went you've only got four walls you need a door and a window it said you need one more wall to continue all oh, right yeah no then definitely uh, you've got like, the right end of the stick and yeah. i'm the wrong one yeah <laughs> okay so i went like down so i went to my downstairs i mean you've seen my house I, the problem i've got is i've got a uh, my stairs upstairs i like, cut through my downstairs <laughs> on an angle which you've got like walk under to get into the room. Yeah. So I went round and I scanned my hall downstairs, like just the two, two, the two rooms. And then it was like, fantastic, your space is big enough and all this, like to play even like the decent one, like the, cause there's like small space missions and larger space, space missions. So like, it gave me the option. I thought, Oh, look at that. And then I started the small space one and it just places a, an object randomly at some place in your room. And it placed it on the, exactly where those stairs were, so I couldn't actually get to it. <laughs> so, I've never played Samba de Amigo, but I just thought it was a rhythm game with maracas. Yeah. How much space do you need to... Oh, this was... This this? was oh, that was Fresh Spire. That was... Oh, right, 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 right. That makes a lot yeah. more sense. That's a shame. I quite like the idea of maracas in Aspire. I've seen people playing Aspire. Um, I think I was watching... It was Adam Bombody. Mm-hmm. Um, playing and telling the dog like don't worry I can see you you're fine and the dog's like yeah okay I, I trust you and she's kind of creeping around the dog and then yeah. attacking people and yeah it, it looks fine probably I mm, I played it in like I don't know for the smaller missions uh, the, which I could play downstairs I have, I just remeasured the one end of my room and it let me play like in the small space ones and they just basically put windows in rather than making you the, mm-hmm. the people in your own space because i've seen people play like when they were a large space like there's people in the house that they walk up behind and i feel like like the stood okay this just puts a window in it works a bit like the the one that you the first encounter one like they'll open the windows and it'll be like the aspire world out the window and then you can like right yes yeah things yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. No, see, I do like cool stuff like that. Have missions, you tried which I was Broken Edge? Sorry, I've managed to unplug my headphones. <laughs> did um, did you play Broken Edge in MR? I played a bit today, yeah. Yeah, what did you think about that? I thought it looked quite impressive. Yeah. Um, bigger play spaces work better. Yeah. Uh, for sure, because my play space... So the portal that opens up is pretty much as wide as this room, which is about two meters. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it, it kind of lost some of the effect doing that. But, uh, yeah, I was... I It's... I'm not great at the game. Top that off with the fact that if you don't entirely know what you're doing and it is a PvP game then you're going to have a worse time than if you do know what you're doing. Yeah. And yeah, but the look of it, it looks nice. It looks impressive. The the MR on that is quite good. It's not as good as your Synth Riders. That was very impressive, mixed reality-wise. 
I think we're gonna have to get together and do a demio session. Hmm. An MR demio session. Yeah. The thing I found interesting with Synth Riders, I know it only does the the standard mode. Um Yes. But I noticed, well, uh, I noticed it's like it opens like holes to where you can look out into the, the stage, like all around you in each wall. And I thought, why didn't kind of just do 360 mode and have them turn into each hole in the wall type thing? So I think the problem with the whole 360 mode is that in order to do the 360, wouldn't you essentially have to then end up rendering the world in 360 degrees, which at that point you're basically just playing synth rides. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah. So then at that point it's eh, okay. But I think I think I need to, you know, pack a bag and head north again. And we can just get a, at least a three player MR session going. Yeah. Um I'll I'll just rock a quest pro. So I don't know if we looked at uh, like with Broken Edge, I haven't played with the, the portal size settings and stuff to so it showed a bit more of the room. That's a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that would be way better for me. Like I made the portal a bit skinnier and it also like tapered off into a triangle. That would sell it way better, yeah. Yeah. There's like different settings. That would for definitely you. sell the thing. Yeah, I think if ever I give demos I would definitely have to, to do that then. Yeah. So for sure. The smash smash drums is good as well. Just... I haven't tried it. I downloaded it, but then my quest battery died. It is yeah. um a small battery. I say it's a small battery. I don't think it's that small, but it seems quite power hungry. However, uh, I believe I saw on Twitter today there's going to be a new update that's going to extend the life of the battery of the Quest. Yep. I don't know what they're going to sacrifice to do that, whether mm -hmm. they're going to you know, turn some clock speeds down or something, but it's apparently coming. Yeah, so with uh, Smash Drums, it just cracks your wall, basically, and then obviously your wall falls apart and... Uh... The stage is there, and you can obviously see your room around you, but they're coming out the stage. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I would I would love to see that, um, for sure. What else was that? Downtown was fine. When I played that, it makes reality, but it's I think you get more from the actual game itself. Yeah. Because you get to walk around a world and say, oh, yeah, you know, the mine hunt or whatever words um yeah that was good bowling was fun and i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind playing pool um mm -hmm. in mixed reality that would be quite immersive i think having an mr pool table in the middle of your room mm -hmm. uh, what else did i try i did try today um the what's the car racing game in mixed reality it's just a demo on that lab at the minute, yeah, but I tried that. Yeah. That was that was really fun. Uh, it was me testing the Quest Pro this morning, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's looks really good and clean and clear. And when I'm... I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out there and say this. All of the footage that you see of people's mixed reality stuff is not what you see in the headset no. at all. That footage is way crisper than what you see in the headset. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. But that one immersed me that much that I kind of forgot. Yeah. I'll tell you so, what you, I've I tried, but I mean, it's there for it's a, it's a tool. It's not really a game. Piano. I've seen this. Yeah. Uh, uh, is it, that's not its proper name, is it? It's, it's piano like, or something. Um, I'll I'll see. I've got an email and I never responded to them. I'm so sorry. It's like not protege. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump into my emails. Yeah, I was just have a look on my phone. I think it's 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 piano or something. I I thought it was like. I think I'm thinking of a different game then. Wait, just where you can have a um, play in front of your real piano, or you can like and it'll map the things on top of a real piano you can put a virtual one in there which you can i was trying to learn this stuff. is what i saw yeah um cold says i don't like reality why would i want to mix it with my games it's a good point and a lot of people go to games to mm -hmm. uh get away from reality and then here you are just injecting it into your video games so i, I can understand that um piano vision 
Yellow Vision. I think I'm thinking of a different game. I need to look into that a little bit further. So, all right, Piano Vision, I, I've not seen that. Yes, yeah, so that's like, you, like I said, you can put it on a, you can put, if you've got a real piano in front of you, you can say, I want to learn how to play this song. And then, yeah. it'll although I've, I've, I've seen people playing it, but I always figured it was this, um, not yeah. what you're on about. So, I think Tatiana I did, the, so did the trailer others. for it. The hour like from yeah. the VR space, Tatiana. Oh. Okay. Um, I have so many emails that I've not looked at. I'm a piece of crap. I'm so sorry. Um, I can't find it. It's not Virtuoso. That was the... That was a music maker one. Vertigo? Or, no, fast Travel Games, that one, wasn't it? Yeah. Maybe I'm just talking out of my posterior and... Yeah, I'm 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 thinking of something completely different. So outside of mixed reality, I mean, I'm, I've enjoyed what I played mixed reality. I think it's probably gonna get better over time. People start to get a bit more creative with it. But like I said, I just have to spend ninety ninety percent of all the hours I've spent in it. Ninety ninety five percent playing MR. playing MR. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I need to give it more time. I definitely do. Uh, one of the things I have found is, A, it's got a nose gap you can drive a bus through. Mm -hmm. And B, it is so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, really, really bad. I, I, I th There are things that I could potentially do to make it more comfortable for myself. Uh, you were mentioning, was it Thrill said, stick a backwards baseball, baseball cap on, yeah. and that'll give you a bit, yeah, a bit more. Um, I had a, last time I played it, um, I just walked away with such a horrible headache. Like a real tension, it's been pressed on one thing way too hard, way too long kind of headache. So I've, I've always thought, um, was it the plan to make it this uncomfortable and the battery life so short to like, Try and convince people Make to go out and buy the strap. buy the elite strap because you're going to get a better battery. You're going to get a better head strap. I would love to say no, but instead I say it's meta. So yeah, I think I'm going to then maybe show a key wheel key we've got there. Quest free, so they'll probably start pumping stuff out. Yeah, here's here's hoping. The thing I find the most uncomfortable is I feel like the cushion on the face pad's proper, like, solid. It's very stiff, yes. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was I looking agree. for. I think that's what I find most uncomfortable about it is the face pad that feels like it's got no... It's it's stiff, so it, hasn't, it doesn't really mold to your face. It just sort of, like, sticks into it. Yeah, I can see that. I'm going to have a look at a few different... So things are popping up on the internet now of, like, you can get a new face cushion and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I may venture into one or two of those, but the first thing I need to do is get my... I've still not done it. I've not printed my adapters for the Quest 2 to Quest 3 head strap that, yeah. that's floating around. I need to print that. I printed off some resin ones, but they kind of need to be plastic because the lens... Sorry, the arms on the Quest 3 are both bowed and twisted. Yeah. So the end result is that you kind of need to melt it to to form into that. So, mm. yeah, I've tried to print it about three or four times and it keeps failing. So I'm going to have to re-slice it, I think, which is a job for this weekend, mm -hmm. maybe. So outside of the MR stuff, we've got games getting updates. That new game seems to be pushing updates out, even when I was surprised as they haven't. Uh, yeah, because I watched you play um, the not after the fall. Jesus, Apex. Uh, go uh, on, you fill it in. <laughs> Apex Construct. Yes, I watched you play that, and I was like, really? Mm. Yeah. Uh... Well, if it's that easy, then go for it. It's it's like we said with the PSVR two. It might be an old game to us, but. It could be somebody's first time seeing it, so why not? Because I've put it there, and 
Andreas had put out for Fast Travel Games saying that it was his six year anniversary working for the company and it's crazy to think like Apex Construct was the first game that released and I was just like I put on there I'm, I said oh my god you reminded me about this game I'm gonna download it and play it again this was my plan on for Sunday mm-hmm. and then he responded saying don't play it yet we might have something interesting coming out soon right and I was like oh and then then the Monday they announced oh this things of it <laughs> So I said him on Friday, I'm, I'm going to download it again and play it Sunday. And he was just like, no, don't play it yet. We might have something on something on the way. And then Monday they announced the released a patch to give it yeah, uh, sharper textures, more foliage, uh, change the, the water's been done properly and stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, bloody okay. hell. Okay. That's, that was shocked me when, the, <laughs> when they said that. That one especially. I, I, I need to test it because I um I, I frequently escaped that game. Um uh, much to my joy and, and, and fun. So I need to test it and see if they've fixed any of the areas that I frequently escape from. Yeah. We'll see. But I've never finished it. I came I've started playing it about five times, but I've never truly finished that game. Hmm. And so yeah, I need to I need to knuckle down, but that's the for, for future times probably. Yeah, I think I finished on Quest One. Finished on PlayStation first, and then I finished on Quest One. Don't think I finished on PC, but then yeah, I left over. Wow. Okay. So you you're okay. You finished it a good few times. Yeah, I I played it on PC and on Quest. Don't think I ever touched mm-hmm. it on PlayStation. And then there was um. I mean the one that. Basically, just looks like a PC game. Red Matter, two. It just looks. I don't know. I, I, they, I was. I mean, like I said, they they've made some deal with the devil because uh, it looks good on yeah. the quest anyway. <laughs> it's it's just pure witchcraft what they've they've done, and I yeah. don't know how they've managed to do it, but then consistently do it like they they just every platform they bring it out it just looks better and better and better. And I've heard people say that it is now on the Quest 3, essentially just on par with PC and uh, PSVR. Yeah. Like, uh, it's uh, just that good. On my stream, I guess I just did like a short stream yesterday, obviously, because I only got it yesterday to just test stuff out and then spent probably 40% of it just playing Sam and Amigo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm not going to rush out and buy that. I imagine it's about a 30 quid game. Uh, 25. I just. Yeah. I'm not that guy. I am not rhythmically gifted at all. Yeah, and then we, I jumped in a red matter just to get the suit and go into that first station part, like where you've got this the thing down that tells you about history, where you're scanning the stuff. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I knew they had light it like little lamp lamps on the desk, and all I wanted to do was check how good how well the real time shadows work because that's now on the quest the real time shadows yeah and it blew my mind honestly did i would love to see the area that i spent a lot of time in do you know the the dome yeah that's sort of flickering between red and, yeah. and blue I, I would love to see that um on the quest to see how well they handle that but mm-hmm. yeah the the psvr version blew me away so yeah I mean, definitely. I'm, I'm, uh, they can do whatever they want. Like it's, it's superb looking game. I'm hoping, like I know they've got a lot on the play at the moment. I'm hoping once stuff's done out the way, that Vertigo Games go and put torches in after the fall. That really hurt you, didn't it? Like it could. <laughs> I saw somebody saying, like, after the fall was getting an update, and I'm like, wait, does that mean everybody gets torches now? Apparently not, no. <laughs> Just go and give us torches, please. So, uh, yeah, there's that, well, uh, once again, I started it a million times, and I've never, co- I, I own it on, like, three different platforms, and I've never truly committed to one of them. Um, But if I did, I want to go for the PlayStation, because I could buy DLC where I get, like, Ghostbusters-themed stuff, and I'm a nerd for... <laughs> um. Ghostbusters. Uh, what you have so, one now? I mean, oh, Espire 2. I want Espire 2's like 
their VR mode because they um, give that update for the Quest 3. Hmm. Uh, just more just that, it, like, they haven't really done much texture-wise, but they've just give it more more life to the atmosphere, like the lighting's better and the, like, when you're outside, the the mist and fog's better and things like this. They've just give it, like, touches like that, which I think worked. Yeah. Um, they didn't really go crazy with textures, but I think one thing they've got with Red Matter, I think, which the games, like, because I was going to say, like, obviously after the fall, uh, Red Matter's got, it's like, Real time lighting, so why can't after the fall? But I suppose there's a lot more going on in after the fall at one point than the ever is on Red Matter in the whole game, like with things attacking you and the amount of stuff that's actually on the screen. Because Red Matter is like a very slow paced and it's not like it's very action orientated for like most of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's yeah, that's a good point. Whereas your um. After the fall, you're you're after the falls, snow breed all over, and like, you have to. Yeah, it's very very quick. Mm. Speaking of Ghostbusters, mm. as we record this on the twenty fourth, that's now two days away. Mm-hmm. Um, I've not heard anything from from End Dreams yet. But I have seen some videos, mm-hmm. and I'm a little worried. So I've not been watching any videos on it because I'm like, again, it's one I no. feel like I want to go in and be like, oh, okay. I was kind. It was kind of accidental. But that said, and this is another thing that mildly worried me. So the people's videos that I saw, they weren't allowed to capture footage. Mm-hmm. That, once again, worries me. Now, the name, obviously, End Dreams inspires joy and great things in my head. Mm -hmm. But I also do think that this may potentially be not so much a game by committee, but Mm -hmm. maybe not entirely in their hands. Yeah. Um, so I am hopeful because of end dreams, but then also it may have people saying, no, no, we want this for this and this demographic and this thing and this to happen. So I I am mildly worried. So we'll have to see how it goes. I'm going to play the game and I'm going to at least mildly enjoy it because as previously mentioned, Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters nerd. But I just expected more by now. I tell you what, one thing that uh, around this area that's like annoyed me in the last few days, though, is like everyone on social media, they're not sending the codes out, so there must be something wrong with it. It's like, yes, I thought it's it's a yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. it's a choice of when they send the codes out. Like, <laughs> well, sometimes it's actually not their choice when yeah. they send the codes out. I know, so I know Sony are controlling these ones. Like End Dreams aren't even like giving them out. So, but I'm like in my head, I'm just like, it's not always a bad sign no. that the press don't get the game before the game's release. No. Sometimes it's not a good sign, but sometimes it's. For example, yeah, example it's... Firewall. Like, I, I, I'm not normally on the wait for reviews. Like, I grab Firewall because I, I fancy trying it, and maybe I should have waited for reviews mm-hmm. because I've probably played about fifty minutes of Firewall and never gone back into it because it's terrible. I, I was never gonna play that. We need to. Oh, we need to get back to Crossfire. Yeah, we do. Because yeah. now they've got a manual reload update. Yes. So I very much. Um, yeah, we need to. Oh God. Get more stuff to do in October. <laughs> what is there to do? But I think it's just um, a bit. It's a bit. Uh, it sounds to me. It it just makes some. It just makes like the this content creation side of stuff sound so entitled when people go on social media to complain and they're not going to get a code until it's released. I'm like, you're getting a code. Like, just be happy. You're getting a code. Like. And yeah, end of the I, day. exactly. I'm so happy to be even taking part. <laughs> yeah, that I kind of don't. Yeah, care when. 
I think it just seems... I think it can get around to me in a week's time. Seems... Although I'll probably FOMO will kick in, I'll buy it before then, but... Yeah, I think it seems yeah. quite... It sounds quite entitled when, like, you're complaining that you haven't got something that you're getting for free. Like... Yes. <laughs> yeah. It just it. it just blows my mind. I mean, it might be just me, but it just absolutely blows my mind. And there's... So, once again, there's so much... October, it's not done. And then I've just Googled a list and we've got at least what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that was released yesterday. Ten. There's about fifteen more games coming out this month. It's the twenty-fourth. <laughs> Um, I mean, I can think the, the Vertigo Two oh, is no. out today on no. PSVR. It got delayed. That did it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Journey to Foundation. Journey to Foundation. Eco PSVR and Quest. We're looking forward to that one. That's like that's my standout release for this whole month. So yeah, that looks just insane. Um, the 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 car game I was on about earlier, Trackcraft. That was mm-hmm. the one I was on about. That game is so fun in mixed reality you should totally go check it out it's free it's like mm-hmm. just go you'll you know five minutes of your time it's still fun so fog- yeah you should totally check that one out the fogland was out as well this yeah morning. this is what i was going to say the fogland so the foglands is it looks weird but we've kind of seen nothing about it mm-hmm. it looks good but I, I just don't know what it is i've not got a clue so i'm interested by all means but i don't know is Madison apparently slated for this month? But I don't think that's... Madison is... I mean, Halloween kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Madison's due to come out. That's going to be a PSVR game, though, right? I think it's on PC as well. Is it? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, I just see Perp Games pimping that game all the time, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. fair enough. Um, there's a pressure washer game that's not the pressure washer game you're thinking of mm-hmm. called Under Pressure... Which uh, I was going to try out last Saturday, but then um, the plans just kind of... Well, I didn't make any plans. Well, that was kind of cool, but it's more like Gmod with pressure washers Mm -hmm. than pressure washer sim. Like, there doesn't appear to be any overly massive point to it. Yeah. But it's, it's multiplayer, and you can clean... Let me just make sure I'm not saying something I shouldn't be saying here. Um... You can play soccer, volleyball, fly with your pressure washer, uh, bring your friends to clean objects together, soar through the skies, uh, use and abuse power washers to play these different things. Uh, Okay, so they don't mention a feature I was about to mention, so I'm not going to mention that feature, Mm but it looks super interesting, and I'm totally down to play it. And I will have... I mean, it's just even, like, after this month, there's, like, Resi Evil's coming out by before the end of the year. Resi 4. Oh, I don't even own that yet. <sighs> I'm, I will have to own it, but I'm just waiting for, like, the New Year sales, I think. I think they'll wait until, like... I think they'll wait end of November, begin December, to release that to try and, like, bring Christmas sales, I think, for the PSVR. That makes sense. I think. Because, obviously, they've only said... By the end of the year, basically. Yeah, there's one for Cold, The Devourer, Haunted Souls. I can see you've already got it on your wish list, a survival multiplayer horror. Um, that's coming out around Halloween. Naturally, oh, um, Phasmophobia. Yeah, indefinitely and delayed. Indefinitely delayed, which doesn't the word indefinite mean, like, forever? I'm not, I, um, am I getting that wrong? To me, it just seems this used for like when it happens it happens they're not gonna tell you it could be three years down the line they're like oh yeah yeah we're releasing this it's like it's just there's no planned time to get it out for indefinitely is an unlimited or unspecified time okay so that's yeah. fine super happy well, fun yeah, land and that's good coming? news though oh yeah i'd rather than what's coming out rather than delay it and then do what seems to have been the trend on PlayStation recently of releasing games that then go, oh, yeah, we're going to patch that. Yes. it's It seemed like a half-baked idea. Mm-hmm. 
Um, well, no, no, the, the full idea is there, but it seems like a half-baked execution. There were so many features that were... It was coming out in August, was it, originally? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, 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 they had all the, the grand ideas, and they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, so you're going to be able to play Phasmophobia. You're not going to be able to talk to people or ghosts. I'm like, yeah, that's the whole... wait, what? So I can't run in there and shout the ghost's name and scare everyone. Yeah, that's that's one of the big things about Phasmo. Like, there was just so many different areas of Phasmo that were missing that they weren't releasing Phasmo. Yeah, they were releasing a, a not so much a flop, but it was definitely not going to be well received. Mm -hmm. And by saying, Do you know what, I'd rather just lose the hype we have now, and then bury the brand and just release it later. That's yeah. the great choice. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally down for that. So whilst a uh, October release would totally make sense, what with all the, the season of the spoop, um, I'm you did a good thing. You listened to the community and you postponed, you, you indefinitely s d delayed mm -hmm. the game. So no, I'm down for that. That's, that's totally fine. So all of Vertigo 2 got delayed. They've said perp of Bob's their publisher on PlayStation. They've come out and said it will come out before the end of this year, they're just waiting for a new date. Which, I don't know, it might be down to... I don't know Roman whether... Or... I don't know whether they've just been clever and seen every, every big game that's coming out in the next month. Like, it's going to battle with Ghostbusters, it's going to battle with Journey Foundation, it's going to... It's got a battle with Foglands. It's, it's going to have a lot to fight. With a quest. It's better with a quest release. Yeah, it's like a. I think it's. A, said, I think it's a smart move. I'm not entirely sure how many PSVR gamers care about the quest. Mm hmm. True. Wait, you can cast a quest to YouTube. I think you can bring the chat in now on the on the on the update they're doing. This was a thing. Like, I didn't even realize you could just... Can you natively cast to YouTube? So I know the update said that it's getting YouTube chat. I didn't think you could. I thought... announced a feature as part of the V59 update. The creators will need to fill out an early access interest form to be approved. Right. So, yeah, no, you'll be casting your game, and then you can get YouTube chat as a window, mm -hmm. presumably by... Uh, 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 like you'll be casting your your Beat Saber or whatever, yeah. And then the YouTube chat will be available to you. But it's a good step forward. It is a huge step forward for Meta to be able to get chat yeah. whilst playing native quest games. Mm -hmm. It means you don't have to have your you know your voice chat and things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I'm st I still want it. I'm still going to use it because it's a lovely part of my stream. But it's yeah. I, uh, it's an interesting thing. So you'll still be casting to a PC and streaming the PC, but then you can send it over to the Quest. That's a good step forward. That's a good shot by Oculus. Yeah. It's one thing that everyone's already always complained about and were saying about when they got their hands on the Quest 3 is why haven't you made content creation any easier? <laughs> Yeah, I hear I've it's a feature that I've never bothered with because I hear nothing but people complain about it. But mm -hmm. the likes of um, recording onto the quest is still just broken. Like yeah. it still doesn't work. You still get drops in. So when the the few occasions when I did try it, every now and again you'll get a frame drop. It'll stutter because it's loading or something like that. But the audio keeps going at the same rate. So then what you end up with is the audio getting in front of your gameplay and you have to then somehow change it yeah. later, which is an inconvenience to say the least. But then on top of that, I when I recorded to directly to the Quest in the past, getting the content from the Quest to the PC to edit it... I had to take a few crazy steps up to and including doing it through lines of code in command prompt. That's not good. No. And apparently nothing has changed. It's been that bad. 
Yeah. So I thought they really would have, especially now they have got uh, an arsenal of just top content creators. They've they've ditched the ambassador program from what I can tell, and they've now got like a meta creators program. Yeah, where they're not as vocal about being meta employees because they're just creating and if they happen to choose a meta headset for their creation meta are like yeah cool here's you know some cash or whatever that the deal is mm -hmm. i don't know what their deal is but yeah it's, they're no longer oculus ambassadors they are meta creationist types i don't yeah. know what they call themselves um so you'd think having them on board I'm pretty sure all of them are just like, when? When are you going to make my life easier, Lord? When? Yeah. So. Hmm. So I don't know we'll, if you. We'll see. I don't know if you've tried it with with the Quest Three. Have you tried the PC Link? Like with the mm -hmm. with a link cable. Not cabled. No, I did Air Link. Yeah. So I tried it with a cable before today after work, thinking I want to see what it performs like and. Plug the cable in, and it's like you need to pops up in the thingy. You need to go to this website and sign in and this code to link your account, which I did. Mm -hmm. And then, it, then the met, then the Oculus PC app opened, and was like you need to sign in. So I clicked on like sign in with email, and it took mm -hmm. me to the meta site, so I could just click on this is the account I want to use. And then it went. It failed. And inside the headset, it was like, you need to link this account again. And it was saying, I was like, what do you mean I need to link my PC account? So I just went round in circles, round in circles. I was just about to give up, and it, it worked after about the 10th time. But then it took about 10 times to get the PC to pick up. It was going to be a used, like, in, get, in like the Oculus PC home thing in the headset. Just kept showing the black screen with three dots and it just kept crashing. And then when I finally got in, everything ran like turd. And I've looked online, apparently it's a known issue. With the cable? Using the cable, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, because I did Airlink and none of this was my experience. Yeah, it's with the cable. Not only that, yeah. I also Airlinked the Quest Pro last night during Cold's live stream. So I had Cold's stream up on one window and then i was playing a video i was playing a game um mm -hmm. i house flipper on on in in front of me in the quest pro and the the transition of unboxed to signed in to getting content directly from the pc was quite painless see my, my um, problem is it, it's more just a me thing is i just, I, i've always just used wired connections on my pc so I don't even have a wireless card on my PC. Don't get me wrong. I, I frequently and constantly have said that the Air Link is absolutely trash, but now it's not that bad. It's not. Um, I, I had a pretty good time with it, so it's possibly going to be my go-to moving forward. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to, as I said, I don't, wait, did I say this publicly? I might stop streaming for a little while and just work hardcore on a video with the sole intent of deciding which is the one headset I'm going to live with as mm -hmm. my daily driver. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's going to help me decide by being cabled, not cabled, mm -hmm. with Pico, with Quest... I think the end result is going to have the index on a spike. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to end with the index going on on a head behind me. So I think what um, is an interesting thing is that um, I have to do it for, I mean, there was, I think it was, was it last week? It was last week I took off streaming because obviously I run on the VRM.com. Obviously, with with releases, as we've been talking about the many many that have come in, it's like I'd fall so behind on my website if I'd streamed because I those two hours, well, two and a half with the half an hour setting up, I could be two and a half hours into a game. Yeah, and 
so I think I'd put it on my Discord if I cancel them, but if I if I don't appear, if you don't if I mean I don't really put, <laughs> I don't really promote my Discord. So but if anyone's just watching this back or watching now and I don't I don't appear one week, that's why, because I know I've just gotta knock myself down the VRM dot com. I've let everyone behind before when I used to do YouTube and then it's I always feel bad. Because it's 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 what brings it brings me my most my most my biggest audience. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, they've been there since when I used to just do when I didn't do content and on on my website and I, I sort of like push them to the back. So makes sense. Makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. You've you've played way more VR than me by not making content. <laughs> yeah. Way more. Um. So yeah, no, I I very much envy you, and every now and again I do think at what point is it? Well, I know, no, I already know exactly what the catalyst for me streaming either slowing down or stopping is going to be. Uh, definitely not looking forward to that day, but that's for a, for a completely different reason. Um, but yeah, I I I need to do more. Um, yes, the podcast has got a bot. We've made it. <laughs> i'm trying to mod power it but it's just not working so somebody else will have to get it um yes so i click do i click the sword to make it go away i, I don't, don't know. know oh wait no i can just click this button here 13 i'll do it that's fine 13 is always on yeah there. no there's a big bin right next to every single chat that i can just delete message timeout or oh, ban Right there, I was clicking the wrong thing all all along. But yeah, um, it's like, for example, like I took last week off because I got my code for seventh guest, and I wanted to two days before it came, the embargo lifted, and I was like, I need to get this played. And I mean, it was a joint to play, so it it wasn't really that bad. But yeah, it's I, not a slog, is it? <laughs> would have been would have been streaming on one of those days, so that was two and a half hours of loss into that, which. I needed pushing it through to the end to get it to get it done. Um it is weird because on one hand, if I start something on stream, I feel bad that I don't finish it with the viewers that I started it with. Yeah. But then the downside is that I feel I can't play games unless I'm streaming it. But if I want to play a game for just like a half hour, I, I end up in a, a weird situation, so yeah. I don't know. It's, this is very much a me problem. I am beholden to nobody, but I don't know. It's just that weird feeling of being a creator. You you kind of get stuck. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. Passion's generally what pushes me. So if if for example, I uh, it's the twenty fourth now. This is a Tuesday. A Tuesday. Yeah. The twenty sixth, I may go live for all of about twenty minutes just so I can gush over Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. for example. And then that's it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's this is a me problem. I'm gonna shut up. It's a me problem. Um, yeah. So back to the the quest free just quickly is I. I think I'm in the same position as you said earlier. I don't think um, it's a case of I've not used it enough to mm -hmm. say yes or no at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed the mixed reality. Like I said, that's all I've been main, mainly been playing. Um, yeah. But I'm in a space of I want to play more. But I've been, I've been impressed by my first first look at it. I've been impressed by the clarity and stuff it offers and the things I've looked at. But it's just, I don't think I've got enough. To, well, I've got about eight hours in it, so maybe less than that. So I don't think I'm in a good position to say yes or no <laughs> until. Yeah, that's the thing, and it's one of the things that I'm struggling to. It's justifying the rice of it yeah at this exact point in time it's so difficult to justify the price yeah i we also get meta plus 
Quest Pro Super Duper Netflix. Mm -hmm. Have you bothered redeeming that yet? No. No, I haven't. Um, a game that I care about will show up on there, and then eventually I will. I think we've got till January to redeem it. So yeah. Worst case scenario, I'll just wait till the very last second. Um, but it's all had like things like Pistol Whip and Pixel Ripped and um, uh, little, Walkabout Mini Golf. Little Cities. Yeah. All, I, all of the games. I, I If I subscribe now, do I get the old stuff? or I don't, no? I don't know. I probably need to ask that question to the internet. Mm -hmm. um, God. Paul, just say no. Just say no. <laughs> no, no. Do I like spice? No. Do I like spicy crisps? I like spicy anything. I like my women spicy. Oh God! <laughs> right, that's it. I'm... Oh, that's awkward. That's that's awkward. Um. Yes. No. I, um. <sighs> Anyway, okay, I'm I'm gonna I, I need to pack a bag and head north and get you a, a very spicy crisp and sit and watch you <laughs> pray for a swift death. <laughs> the hot chick challenge. <laughs> That's good that one called, I right, that one. Oh. You can't even buy them anymore, can you? The band? Nah, they're not. They were in that shop we were in all the month. Like they were literally on the till. Yeah, they've been banned recently because someone died having one. No. Yeah. You can probably still I get mean, them no, on places people, like Amazon and stuff, but. People, I'm pretty sure, have died, but. Mm -hmm. No, they've not. They've not banned them. But yeah. I googled it. Um, Xbox on. Shut up, Google. <laughs> um, that sounds like the Xbox achievement sound. Blink. <laughs> no, strange enough, you can actually rig a Google to turn an Xbox on. Hmm. Uh, but that's not VR stuff. No, I, I had a look on the internet last night, and I think they just change it every year. Uh -huh. and they change to a different spice. So if anything, they're probably just switching to the new spice, but yeah. they've not banned it. Yeah, some have uh, very. So that's, our, that's our question: Do I like spicy crisps? So I'll, I'll, I'll put I'll put a question out there: Is there any game you'd think? I mean, I'd, I'd put a tweet out which I'd like. Any game you think that well, you'd like to see get some sort of mixed reality? Hmm. Which game? Now, um, presumably, Quest is not relevant. This is a, a wish list scenario, right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to come out on the question. Is any game you think you'd like to see mix get a mixed reality sort of thing, but... Mixed reality in a game. I think I think Ivanovich are going to jump on it soon, so there's no point in wasting a wish on that. Hmm. Um, it is possible to have the likes of after the fall i think like wave based shooters are going to be a thing that people go to for quite some time yeah rhythm game. archery simulators and things like that mm -hmm. um i think the black tops is yeah available mr as well uh angry birds would work quite well mm -hmm. Four chords. Wish list wise. When do you think we'll see our first MR porn game? When when Steam, something on Steam can do an MR, there'll be one in the first day. <laughs> yeah, somebody should um 
Well, either that or you just mod an existing MR game, don't you? Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> just one. Okay, yeah. There'll be about 100 in one day. <laughs> You know, one I would kind of dig uh, mixed reality would be, um, oh Christ, what's it called? Fixie Fixie car game, wrench. Wrench. Oh yeah, that was like the I well love details on MR. Wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, I can just put like a mixed reality car on my driveway and then go and fix it. That would be pretty dope. Yeah, that'd work. Yeah, nice. So we didn't see my tweet yesterday. I, I said, "Why haven't we? Why aren't the chain getting a uh, just dance? Why not? Oh, dance central. Sorry, why aren't dance central? <laughs> I mean, Harmonic's yeah. last update on their Twitter account was like May twenty twenty. So I don't think it's ever going to happen. <laughs> but <laughs> it'd be nice. <laughs> That's, no, <laughs> really. Yeah, was it May twenty twenty or May twenty one? What about the cheaty gun game? The one that I don't like. Odica. That's the one. They've not said anything about Audica in the last three years? Mm. Uh, no, it's just Dance Central. Oh, uh, okay. Harmonics made Dance Central on the Oculus. Oh, no, it was 20, actually March 2022 when it went on sale. Is the last time they put, put, oh, okay. any, they put it out. They seem to put, That's a bit more recent. The, yeah, the, the, the like, every tweet since they put on that account since 2020 has just been when it's been going on sale do you know um, one game I, know. I think may potentially do really really well is like um do you remember in down the rabbit hole hmm. where like alice was running around like the outside of a carve out in the side of a yeah a wall just imagine following Alice through a story in your walls. Oh, that'd be, oh, that would be oh that would that would be fantastic if they put the holes in the wall so it's outside of the Oh yeah that Yeah Yeah That would be so good. Especially if they kind of just pulled it in a little bit so you could actually peek in without bashing your head. Bashing your head for a while, yeah. Um yeah, that that would work really, really well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's that's either that kind of thing or wrench. I think they're my two yeah. wish list games for MR. I think and I in the temple I mentioned earlier. Thanks for putting their moth fighting creatures on your living yeah. room. Yeah, I could dig I could dig moss. I is um a lot of people have said really interesting ideas to me. I'm like oh, such a great idea i want to go and do that and i think that's kind of shitty to steal their idea so i'm mm -hmm. going to leave them to do it but there's some great things happening in the vr space for people um yeah that's kind of really really great i another thing that i think would potentially work really well the original fisherman's tale hmm when you sort of turn around and you can see your your room, if they could somehow scale that with you, that would be so fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know if or how hard that would be, really, but yeah, um, it would be definitely a cool thing to do. Does side quest work with a quest three? Yeah, yeah, it's exactly the same. It's yeah. basically a quest two at this point. Uh, they've got many things dedicated to mixed reality and lists on side quests, which is so much easier to access than Meta's mixed reality list. So it's where I've been going to check what games are MR. So yeah, side quests still absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I know we've got that dungeon game. I know, I know we've got Demio, but how about like a proper like tabletop simulator? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That would so at this point in time, I think we are mildly stuck with the whole um local games um MR. Yeah. Um but in the meta settings, I believe pass through over Oculus Link. Enable pass through through Oculus Link camera images will be processed on their host PC. Hmm. So you can realistically broadcast the cameras from the Quest to the PC through Oculus Link. 
So why the hell not start making PC VR MR games? Mm. It's gonna happen. It's gotta happen, surely. Yeah. I mean, people. So people ask me, why did you bother getting a Quest Pro when you've got a Quest Three? And the Quest Three is the superior headset. The Quest Pro is an ornament, but it also has eye tracking. Mm -hmm. Had face tracking as well, doesn't it? What kind of... It does, yeah. And body tracking. Mm. Technically, because the Quest Two has body tracking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it has got face and eye tracking. Which means I could potentially be able to squeeze a little bit more performance out of my 3080 mm -hmm. if games support it. Yeah. The PlayStation VR is able to squeeze so much more performance out of its puny little chipset mm -hmm. because of the eye tracking. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to use the Quest Pro as a PC only headset and use the eye tracking. So that's one of the things that I wanted. Also, you know, I'm just a hoarder and I'm a Rift S away from a full set. Not excluding weird dev kits. Yeah. Uh, not including them. Um, so, yeah. That's why I got a, a, a Quest Pro. That and I could, because PD is one hell of a guy. Um, hmm. Imagine if Paul visited me IRL and I could reskin him into Foxy from Five Nines. I think he's saying about reskinning people. <laughs> people so in pass through. I was. Uh, a tweet from Tribe Grey Wolf, mm. and I don't quite know where they're doing this, but they were basically sat playing um, checkers, but then they're using avatars to do this, but it's mixed reality. Mm. And Mrs. Grey Wolf was stood next to the table, avatar wise. Mm. So you could probably yeah. just, you know, reskin Paul when you see him in a quest. It's like, oh yeah, there's Paul. <laughs> it's it's actually a fox. A, a can we call you a purple fox at this point? I think you're predominantly more pink. Um, the back of me is purple. If you I just, would say stand up and give me a twirl, but you can't um, you can't see a lot of purple because it's under my coat. Yeah, <laughs> the magenta fox. I, yeah, that sounds quite uh, regal. The Magenta Fox. I'm going to go over to my Twitch chat and change your name now. Um, yeah, all right. Anything else? Um, oh, yeah. Speaking of discomfort on headsets, the Globular Cluster, cluster oh, yeah. straps. Did you get a set now? I've got, yeah, yeah. Game changer, right? Definitely a game changer, yeah. Definitely. Like, fluke. Absolutely spot on. You know, it's it's not cheap. It's fifty quid, but I, yeah, for the comfort it's given me, I'm I'm down. Like, yeah, totally. It's spend it, and the the modularity of it is just so genius. Yeah, the thing the thing that made me laugh about it was the instructions. But then I realised I've got a big head, so I understand why it's put in there with the instructions mm -hmm. about <laughs> if you've got a small or big head. That's <laughs> like remove yeah, remove yeah, the top I strap. Do... I frequently say I have a very large head, mm -hmm. um, so I, I appreciated that, and yeah, it's made all the difference, so it gets a thumbs up from the VRverse, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Globular Cluster um, yeah. PSVR Comfort uh, comfort Pack. Pack, yeah. Yeah, yeah give, it, give it a go, give it a whirl. If you are unhappy with the comfort of your PSVR, buy it and be amazed. Mm-hmm. Others are available, but I've not tried the VR cover one, and I don't think I would like it as much. No, I like this. I've, yeah, it's just a very nice, very nice quality. You've got your different types of pads, so you can pick which one you like. For the sweaty ones of us, you can have, you know, the leatherette, and I've got the cooling one on the forehead and the leatherette on the mm -hmm. back. So mix and match. Great time. Yep. Thoroughly blurry approved. Something I would like to do before I end is just I mean if people know me I spent a lot of time in the US um, a lot of time in the US um, and they had the, they had the issues and it, they've, they've separated um, away from the two CEOs because one wanted uh, cryptocurrency in and the other one didn't and the other one just went well tough and put it in which sort of Cause a rift in the player base because you had the the crypto bros on the internet pushing it 
and then who had no interest in the game. But what people saw mainly on the internet was crypto, <laughs> and it put them off even trying it, and it just caused a big mess. Um, but I'd just like to say congratulations to, to Fruxius and the team. Uh, Fruxius, one of the CEOs, went off and created Yellow Dogman Studios. Um, and then all the other people who worked on the development side of Neos went over there, went with him. <laughs> and this month they released Resonant, which is basically just Neos without all the crypto crap. And what was good about it is uh, Neos was built on an engine made by Fruxius. So it basically, he's still got all the same building system in there because he made the engine. <laughs> so he took it with him. It works That's the same. Come in handy. But if you've never checked it out, I'd recommend checking it out. It's like VR chat on steroids because you can do everything in game rather than needing Unity. So you've got to learn it. But They were always first to jump onto like face tracking and eye tracking. Yep. Wonder how long before they implement MR. Yeah, that's true. Um, he got. Brooks just seems to have a very good, good connection with a lot of the people, and from what he's done in the VR mm. space, so he like had the the Viper Eye, had the facial tracker. He just basically seems to have everything before it comes out, so it's all available on release day. <laughs> Of the, of the hardware, yeah. so it's good that's, that Vive are good for that. Definitely, they're they're good at getting uh, hardware in developers' hands. Yeah, for sure. And if they don't do it, uh, someone else in there will go in and, for example, I'm sure with the MetaQuest Pro facial and eye tracking will probably work. You'll someone will probably made something that you can load in there to make it work. They're just all very Let's give it a go. It's all very technical over on there, and people make stuff available for everyone. Um, obviously, people have some private stuff, but a lot of the, a lot of stuff's made public on there by the creators in there. So definitely worth checking out if you haven't. And like I said, I just wanted to say congratulations to to Fruxus and that for getting there and getting it out and getting through the situation that's been going on for the last few years. Even though it hasn't worked out perfect for them, it has in a way because they've they've got this new app. But I'm sure they would have liked to just. Uh, yeah, kept, kept what they had originally. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even know about the crypto of of Neos. I didn't even care. Like it was not a thing I even even really bothered with. Yeah. And then I had a chat with the is it Red Fox people? I think. Yeah. Um. I had a chat with them about their Neos of of thing, and their whole thing is based on Web three and crypto. And um, I was chatting to them, and I was just like, "So, what's your unique selling point?" And they were like, "Oh, we've got all this and the Web three and the crypto and you know the centralized thing." And I was like, "Yeah, but that's basically what Neos is." Mm -hmm. They were like, oh, "Okay, we'll look into that." I was like, "Yeah, do that." Um, so it's good to know that Neos is probably going to Dodo. <laughs> yeah, they've got no development behind them. So yeah, I think the um, yeah, I think. Carol, who was the obviously who did all the business side and wanted the crypto in, I think he's just going to make Neos a, a, a crypto coin. Like the, appli yeah. the application will die, the website will still be there, and you'll still be by crypto coin, like Neos coin. And I think that's the direction yeah. that's probably going to end up going unless he finds a whole new development team. So that's good news for the, the, the Red Fox people because now they don't have competition. Mm -hmm. So that's good times. But yeah, like well, I said, nice. It's nice for them to get away from it and join them on launch night, and everyone was in. Yeah, very, that's the thing. You, it's a lot of nobody gets in VR to get rich. Everyone's in very, so, very high spirits as well. Who worked on it? Who worked <laughs> on Neos? So it's good to see that they've all they've all gone over there in a high spirit. Yes, there's 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 hope and future for them, which is because I imagine it must have been a very scary moment. Yeah. Um, knowing that the, the all this thing you've poured your blood, sweat, and tears into is kind of going down the swanny because your vision doesn't match, yeah, you know the the other person. So mm -hmm. yeah, it must be quite scary, but onwards and upwards, eh? Yep, we will get there. And speaking of moving onwards, you can catch me twitch.tv slash dr oculus vr, uh, Twitter doctor underscore oculus threads dr oculus vr 
and your no, I was going to say something about your mum, but it's just inappropriate. <laughs> I'm not that guy. I mean, I kind of did it already, didn't I? Yes. So me, here, just right here. Um, Twitter, the VR Realm, and make sure to go check out the VR I need to get used to promoting that. Um, I do reviews, some every now and then, some editorials, some previews. Some early access hands on things, so it's just a, a place I like to write. <laughs> it is indeed. And did I hear earlier that you have a TikTok account now? Oh yeah, I do, yeah. The VR realm on there as well. Oh yeah, so it's actually under my thingy as well. I should I should have looked at my screen. It's actually underneath my underneath my camera. The VR realm on TikTok. <laughs> um Go go down. Wait, if you're down there. No, nope, wrong side. That way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ones. So VR on and down that for TikTok as well. But yeah. So thank you everyone who's joined us for for this for this month. We'll be back next month at a date that'll be out on the VRverse Twitter. Just like the VRverse. I mean, me and Doc normally share them anyway. So, <laughs> but there's a VRverse Twitter. <laughs> Just a <the> VRverse. <laughs> I um, suppose we should put that somewhere <laughs> on the screen at some point. Yeah. But uh, shameless self promotion. I hope you at some point. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everyone. And find someone to read. I was going to say bye then and just get ready to, to end. <laughs> yes, thank you all for popping by this evening and joining us for this madness. And um, did we miss any questions while you're looking for a raid victim? No, I was keeping an eye on there. We got asked Dang it. what chip I like, how long till the MR Pawn game comes out. And then... Should we just read? Well, I guess that's all there is to be said. Um, cry Chili Biscuit. Um... Dance dash. Oh, I've got that to play. I'm. That's going to be such a tragedy. I may need to get drunk first. I think Chili, Chili Biscuits is talking at the moment. Setting up, she's getting. Yeah, because if I was to do that, it would be like three seconds dancing and then stop to pant for a minute, and then more dancing and then stop to pant for a minute. So it's great times. Well, we're well, weird. Cry. He's he's currently playing. At least he's not, and he's just chatting face. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh crap! So I, I mean, I just didn't even type red. I just wanted to put forward slash cry. Very <laughs> 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 Pro streamer. <laughs> Thanks everybody. Thank Go you everyone. Do great things. Also, thank you to Coco Mam Coco Mama for following in the stream and called for. For the, for the resub. So I'll greatly so appreciate it. Now we'll go and get Cry. So until next time, goodbye for now, everyone. Toodles. I'm people streaming. There we go. That's gone over. Many beat Saberists. Damn, this game looks good, even in VR.